Was that wheel or? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video we go to wolf caves park uh, for austin jeep people's polar bear run now wolf caves is located in mason texas just a few hours away from austin once we arrived to camp we downloaded brian's beautiful red jeep rubicon and set up our tents and got ready to stay the night once we finished setting up camp, we decided to go check out the park to see what we'd be in store for tomorrow. Now, if you've never been to Wolf Capes Park, it is a really big park with tons of different terrain. Mostly boulders and mostly rocks. Some of it is granite and some of it is covered in sand, which can make it pretty slippery. The great part about this is that most of the trails are marked with the white trail being the park trail and the more difficult trails are either named or they have different colored arrows to show the difficulty of the terrain going up and going back down. If you look closely, you can also follow the different trails just by looking ahead and you can see the different dots or different arrows. Yeah. How's he on that back corner? Backing up good? Well, she's tight. Yeah, you're gonna go up on this rock on the driver. So yeah. Slow. No. It's popping, it's popping the rear quarter to the rock. There you go, passenger. <laughs> what? I hit hard a couple different places already. Look at all this. It's cool out here. It's really cool. Yeah, I'll be like going through something and I'm like, my face is cringing. And I don't even realize it. I mean, I'm sure I am cringing. too. Don't like, feel bad. You're like, like I'm holding Yeah, you are in a couple of them. You're like, I'm not, I'm oh, not like oh, that hurts. Oh, I wonder why they have that one taped off over there. I wonder if that's part of that buggy trail for the know, maybe. competition. Dang, I kind of want to see that tomorrow. I was going to say, I kind of want to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. That's what my sound, my car sounds like going up the driveway. Right? <laughs> Was, is it as violent where like the pillar smacked me in the side? It's pretty violent. Jeez, that's sad. All right, so I'll be honest. I did not think that that was such a big. That was gonna drop that hard. Yeah, I, did, I was not expecting that. That caught well, me off guard. That's what it's about. is finding the limits. Uh, Woo, I think that I feel was. Like we're getting in like multiple accidents. <laughs> She's just waiting for the airbags to deploy. <laughs> Oh, please no. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm like, please turned no. Turned off back here. Right? <laughs> uh, side airbags. You don't really get airbags in the back. You die like real men. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, that was kind of tight I over there. Want too. A nose job, but sure. <laughs> Are you wearing your seatbelt? No. I am. Maybe Mine's you should be. choking me from so far back there. Have you been this way before? Um, I don't think. I don't. I remember mean, if I like bailed out at some point. I don't know. I'm just kind of like going where it's supposed to go. Or where there looks like I might be able to. <laughs> I'm glad we like went today so like I can expect tomorrow. So I could be sore like tomorrow. Eight hours. <laughs> right? Well, eight hours of, yes. Your abs will be sore because you brace yourself yes. so much. Yes, I keep feeling myself like ah! Yes. <laughs> that's, that's good, getting that core workout. It's good to get I'm like them. constantly looking for the least bumpy path. <laughs> And Brian goes for the bumpiest one. I'm like, oh, this looks fun. Let's go this way. We're going for the most jagged, like. <laughs> yeah, they, they're like not There's nobody way. even in the car. What, what is that? Down the wall. How, babe, how what? are you gonna get around him? I'm not sure how I'm gonna get back down in the first place. Do that. So I caught most of it, but this Jeep right here literally crawled straight up these rocks, as you can see. He's got a spotter, so he'll be all right. Uh, it's kind of hard to get over on this other side of this ledge here. And I don't want to be in front of him in case he needs to go uh, any faster, so I'm just going to stay right where we're at. Apologize about the wind noise. I didn't bring a mic. But we're getting what we can get. Too easy, man. Make it look too easy. Yeah. Crazy. We decided to keep exploring and we found ourselves at the flagpole where most of the buggies and other different Jeep vehicles were parked to crawl up and take some photos. We stayed for a little while and then we decided it was time to head back to camp before dark so we could start getting our dinner ready. If it makes you feel better, somebody else set this rock harder and moved it out of its home. Where are we <laughs> going to uh, which Because you need to go up. Okay. Ooh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Is everyone buckled up? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. I'm even sweating back here, so. <laughs> I'm, like, there's a I'm like not in a good place here. Like this is, I have no good options but to continue with my bad options. Okay, 
All right, so you're, you're wedged between this giant boulder and this one in the front. No. Are you going back? Ooh, that hurts. You right there? I need like, like a hard right because my suspension is not climbing up over it. It's, it's not. getting caught under it. Which I'd hoped that when I locked it, it would have started crawling. Is this piece? Yeah. Well, there's 200 more dollars. That's really cool. Drive. Give us some gas too. There you go. Come on, come on a little more. Come on a little more. Once we got out of that bind, we headed back to camp and we stayed on the white trails and we bed down for the night to get ready for the next morning because we knew it was going to be cold and a lot windier. All right, guys. So we've been wheeling for a couple hours now. How many hours, babe? Like three? Yeah. We've been wheeling for about three hours now. Uh, been getting some good footage. Uh, sometimes I have had to stop the footage because I really got to focus on spotting Brian as he's crawling up or down some of the obstacles. But other than that, it's been a ton of fun. There's a ton of wind. Last night it was super windy and it is freaking cold out here. It is like super cold. So I'm kind of hopping in and out of filming and uh, spotting at the same time. Uh, but we'll see what else we can get into. I think we're trying to get to a higher ridge around here, which again, this whole place is a maze and we don't really know where everything is that um but yeah we're just kind of taking a quick break right now and assessing where we want to go from here and to see what's next overall pretty cool i think i want to go check out i'll talk to brian and them i want to check out some of the buggies are doing some kind of competition and these buggies can literally go anywhere um and those guys seem to really enjoy just kind of sending it but all right guys let's get back to the wheeling and uh see you out there on our second day of wheeling we met some of the coolest jeepers around we met tori and ryan out of san antonio with their fresh uh, Jeep build, and we decided to wheel together for the rest of the day. Now this is one sweet rig that they built. Uh, it was definitely bigger than when we were driving and it had some bigger tires and better clearance. And you can see a lot of the fishbone off-road parts on there as well. The stuff that we had to drive in between, they could clearly drive right over. Glad to be out there with you guys. After a little wheeling, we decided to check out the buggies that were doing the competition and we caught some of the action.
finish line straight ahead. Crazy. That is sick. I wonder who's next because I want to see another one go. Like, dude, that dude that pulled this out like knew what he was doing. <laughs> like, clearly. Dang, that was freaking sweet, man. All right, guys, in the twist of events, you gonna start driving? <laughs> Skinny pedal all the way. Skinny pedal all the way. <laughs> Brian said he's done with the stress. I need a break. I'm tired. I think that's where they're coming up. Like yeah, right I'm gonna just cut over here. So we switched it up on the back seat now. Anna's driving. Ashley's in the front. Girl power. Girl power. Girl. And I'm just back here. Whoa. Like have the wheel all the That's way passenger. Up. He said hard oh, driver. driver? <laughs> <laughs> Ryan? Uh... So wait, you want me to go to the left? <laughs> I like Brian's face. What happened? Fire, it's a 15. Oh, I see where it hit the tire rod all the way to the... Yeah. And the looks like the knuckles. Oh, yeah, you have it on YouTube, man. <laughs> Good carnage video. Yeah. So the one guy we met from San Antonio on the Austin Jeep trip has all the tools with him. He's helping us. All my tools are in the back of my truck. I did not even bother bringing them. It's not like I could get around you and flat you back either. Yeah. Well, 18 maybe? 18 or 19? I don't know. It goes up to 19. Well, it's not bigger than 19, so. Alright, try it. There we go. That's a one? Yep. So what's the fix for that? Just a new shock? Well, there's a, on, after 2014, they made a, uh, a modification where this doesn't hang so low. Yeah, because I can see where it's, it's been hit and it comes up here and it's been wedged in between there. And So if you get that modification, it's like 70 bucks uh, and then you don't have to worry about this anymore. Flip it, flip yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only other way to go. I didn't realize that was pretty low. <laughs> it looks like we're about done. And now we're gonna jump back in the Jeep and keep on hitting these trails. Little driver, right there, come forward. You're gonna come up. Driver, more driver, more driver, slow, there you go. Do I wanna, 
I'll, yeah, I'll give it a whirl. All right, so. Uh, going, we're good. Yeah, she'll crawl on her own, but then she gets going, and it's like, you're moving. You're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Which is freaking nuts. That's pretty good, though. Hmm? Mm -hmm. yeah. I like to crawl up curbs. <laughs> in the suburbs. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it didn't turn off? Oh, I thought we died no. too. It didn't turn off. Come on, slow the clutch out, he said. There he goes. There he goes. Get the hang of it. Damn, your Jeep's a manual. Yeah. This is crazy how this thing is crawling with no gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, element. it's a lot more fun crawling and not being in the passenger seat. <laughs> 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 Oops! I stalled. Shit! Oh my god! It's bomber! <laughs> So this whole time, this is where you've been wanting to go? This whole time, and we just stumbled upon it. My first time wheeling, I think we actually made it to Wolf's Caves. You need me to pull up? You need to move, Ryan? Yeah, just pull up a little bit. What line should I go here? All right, guys, we're gonna turn around and head back down to camp. My GoPro is almost dead. And I didn't bring any extra batteries or anything. So that's going to wrap up today's, uh, this portion of the video at least, and we'll see you guys back at the house.